Hello everyone and welcome to today's maths lesson. Today I'm going to show you something new. We've not done this in class before. That's exciting, isn't it? Right, this is what we call a whole part model. Ooh, should we say that together? Whole part model. Right, and it's basically a drawing. Can you see which shapes are there? Yeah, you're right. So you've got some circles and they're kind of in a bit of a triangular shape really aren't they there's one at the top we've got a line coming down here we've got a circle there and from the top we've got a line coming down here we've got another circle there and i'm going to show you how this works in today's maths lesson let's go okay so this is the whole part model and this bit is the hole up here and it's not like a hole that you might fall down it means something that the whole of something means like the entire thing. So all is another kind of word that we could use. And then down here, these are little bits that we call the part. And as I do the activity, hopefully that will um, be explained a little bit more. So I've got some little nuts here. Hmm, how many have I got? Uh, do you remember from yesterday where we had three toys at the top, three toys on the bottom line, three and three make six. I've got six little nuts here. So they're all the nuts I've got. That's the whole amount right now. So I'm going to put all of them, the whole lot, into this top part here. Okay, so they're in the little circle. Hmm. Now one little nut is going to go wee all the way down here. So I've got one nut over here. And the rest of them are going to come into this part. And that's why we call these bits the parts. Wee. In they go. Hmm. So I've got one nut here. How many nuts have I got over here? Hmm. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got one nut and five nuts. Hmm. How many did I have all together? How many did I have at the beginning? That's right. I had six, didn't I? So one nut plus five nuts. One nut from there, and if I take all these five nuts back up here, we know there's six. I'm going to make them look like little dice dots. There we go. Hmm, six. I haven't taken any way, have I? I've just split these nuts into two groups. One there and one there. Let's do that again. I'm going to have one nut going down here. So I've got six up there. One nut going down here, whee! And then all of these five are going to come into here. So, oh look, can make that look like the dice for the five as well. Hmm, okay, so one and five has got to make six. Because we've got six nuts and I haven't eaten any. So, let's put them all back here. Now... We had one nut going into this part to begin with. What's going to happen if two nuts go there? Whee! Whee! There we go. We've got two nuts in that part. Hmm. How many are going to go over here? <gasps> Oops. You can help me count. One. Two. Three. Four. So I've got four nuts here and two nuts here. Hmm, how many does that make all together? You're right, it's still six, isn't it? We did have one nut over here and five nuts over here, but now we've got two nuts over here and four nuts over here. So two add four still makes six, doesn't it? Let's put them back here and check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, still got six nuts. Hmm, so we've had one nut over here. We've had two nuts over here. Can you guess how many nuts are going in there now? Yeah, three, well done. One, wee, two, wee, three. So in this part, I've got three nuts. Hmm. 
And how many nuts have I got over here? That's right, it's the same, isn't it? We've got the same amount in each part. Three and three makes six. We did have a little look at that yesterday, didn't we? When we put our toys in two lines of three. Hmm. So I've got six here. I've put one, two, three nuts in that part. Let's try with four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's like a little tower. Hmm. How many nuts are left? That's it, just two. So I've got four over here and two. Four and two. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, that's got to make six nuts. Wow. When we had two nuts over here, we had four nuts over here. Oh, that's pretty special. Let's swap them back. So all together, we've still got our six nuts, but this part has got four and this part has got two. Four, add two, makes one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Let's put all six nuts back in the whole part up the top. So we know we've got our six nuts there. Hmm. Let's put one, two, three, wonder if you can work out how many are going to be left. Four, five nuts down here. Ah, one nut left. Hmm, five, add one more, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Some of you might need, might not need to count. You might just know that I've put them in the formation of a dice. And if you know that those five spots means five, you might know those five nuts means five without having to count them. So we've got five here and one here. Five and one makes six. Pop them back. Right. Now, what about this? One, two three, four, five, six. Oh, we've got six nuts in this part. How many nuts in this part? That's right. That's that really special number. Zero. Zero nuts. So six. If I've got six fingers and I don't add any more fingers. I had a zero amount of fingers. I'm still going to have six fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you know you've got five digits on one hand, adding one more makes six. Six. So this is our whole part model. So we start with our number of items in the top and then we can split them up into groups and that helps us with our maths. So we can do adding three, add three makes six. Hmm, what happens if I add one more nut to the hole up the top? Hmm, so that whole part has now got how many nuts? We had six and I've added an extra one from my pot. Hmm, seven nuts. Let's double check by counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, what have I done there? Deary, deary me. Ah, counted them too many times, haven't I? So if you're getting in a bit of a muddle with your counting, put things in a straight line. That can help us. Let's all go together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. We've got seven nuts in the top. Hmm. If I put no nuts down here, zero nuts, all of my nuts are going to have to go down here. Whoosh! Don't really need to count them again, do I? Because I've just moved them from there to there. So there's got to be seven. So zero nuts add seven nuts. It's going to make seven. Okay, so I've got all seven back in the top in the hole. 
the whole part that's up here and I'm going to split them into two parts. So I'm going to have one going down here. Mm, I wonder if you can count how many are going into this part. That's right. It's six. One and six makes, that's it, it's seven. Well done, everyone. Right, today you've got a little activity where you, um, if you've got a coat hanger and some pegs, can do a little activity, a little bit like this, where you um, split your whole number, so whether it might be six things, seven things, eight things, or a number that you choose, and you're gonna split them into two parts. I want you to have a think about um, what those number sentences would be. Oh, look at this one. I've got three nuts over here and I've got four nuts over there. Well, that's got to make seven, hasn't it? Because I had seven up the top. So three out of four must make seven. Have fun with your maths today, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.